Hi, my name is Obed Kumilabi. In this video, we are going to look at how to configure an LACP bond on the Microtech router. So, as you can see in this diagram, for my setup, I have a Cisco switch on one end and then I have a Microtech router on, on, on the other. And what we are going to do is to connect two interfaces on the Microtech router to the Cisco switch and then we are going to configure an LACP bond between the two right now you basically would want to do this if you want to sort of increase the bandwidth of the interfaces that you have so assuming you have uh, 100 mbps on one link and then 100 mbps on the other you can bundle it so you can you can have 200 mbps uh, bandwidth on the links right now for the purposes of this uh, video this tutorial i have already configured the cisco router uh, with the necessary um, configs, right? So, if you look here, I have interface fast as one slash zero slash one, and I have added that to channel group one, right? Using LACP, and I've done the same thing for fast Ethernet one slash zero slash two, which is also doing the same channel group one mode active, which indicates that LACP is enabled on both interfaces. Now, the next thing we need to do is to configure the LACP bonding on the Microtech router. Then we can verify if the configuration worked or not. So, just so we are sure this is not already configured, show, let me show the command show ether channel port channel. One, the port channel, sorry. Right, and you realize that I have fastnet one slash zero slash one, fastnet Ethernet one slash zero slash two in in that channel group, but then you see that I said a port channel aggregation not in use, right? Which means that the other end, which is the microtic device, is currently not speaking LACP, so this hasn't formed. So let's get into it. So to bond the interface or to bundle the interfaces i just have to go interface and then go to bonding right so what i'm going to do is to create a new bond so i'm going to hit the add sign and then i have to now select the interfaces that will be slaves for this particular bond so i'm going to use eta1 and eta2 for these purposes now because I want to use LACP for the mode once I drop down, I'm going to select the 802.3 AD, which is which indicates that we are going to use the LACP protocol, right? And then once that is done, I'm going to hit apply and then OK. Now immediately I did that, you realize that the first Ethernet at zero slash one slash zero slash one and one slash zero slash two interfaces went down. And they are coming up, and that is because it triggered a negotiation, an LSIP negotiation between the Microtech router and the Cisco switch. Okay, so as you can see here, we are getting a prompt that says that the interface port channel state has gone up, right? So, just so we can confirm, when you enter show enter channel port channel right now you realize that it says the post state port channel irrigation in use right and then we have fast internet one slash zero slash one active fast internet one slash zero slash two also active right we can also monitor same on our microtech device so when i hit monitor slaves here and i select the bond right which is bond one for what we, we created and hit start right you realize that it is telling me that Eta, Ethernet one, Eta one, sorry, and Eta two are both up, right? If you point to this to tell you it's active, right? On both sides, it's active, right? And it's able to see the partner with the ID 001E13BD0180, which is referencing our Cisco device in this case. Okay. Now with this done, it means that should any of the interfaces go down, right? We'll have the other being what being active. Okay, so assuming I 
go in and I, let's say I go on to fastest net one slash zero slash one right and I decide to shut that one you realize like quickly eta one has gone down right but then we still have eta two still being able to carry traffic for us I mean between the switch and the router um, if I should bring the interface up again the expectation is that LSCP will kick in and then ETA1 becomes active, right? So basically that is how you configure LSCP bonding on a Microtik router. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.